The early days of observation of fire uh, were Mark I eyeball. The uh, ability to see a target from um, a hill or wherever uh, and to spot the fall of shot and pass the message back. Some of that message passing was done by a heliograph. Uh, the, the heliograph was, of course, the system of flashing lights in a kind of Morse code using sunlight to produce these flashes back to the gun position. One of the problems, of course, about the First World War and, uh, and relaying information back to the gun position was we didn't have very good radios and things like that at the time, so it was a line, uh, a telephone wire that had to be laid by in, you know, people walking along with a line, digging it in, making sure it wasn't seen by the enemy, so that the information could be relayed back to the guns uh, where the enemy was. The way artillery fits into the modern battlefield is hugely important because of the, the wide range of fire control and coordination and command activities that a modern artillery commander has to undertake. He's leaning heavily on modern digitization on computers uh, and therefore has to be fully integrated into what all the other arms and services are doing in 21st century battle space. Uh, number three shot. Four zero nine or Bravo zero nine or shot. Kilo Kilo nine five zero three. 